Admin, I was really disappointed yesterday. I've been chatting with a certain dude, and we have been sharing pics on WhatsApp. I didn't know that this nigga was impersonating. We planned to meet and I couldn't wait to meet a cutie I always saw in pics. I didn't even have money at the moment but he said he will refund it back, so I got someone to lend me 10k for transport too. I called the guy to come and pick me when I reached where he said, it was approaching 8pm. Coming up was a different guy, ugly, in a Muslim kanzu and with a body odor that nauseated me. I thought he was a thief or something by his looks, I put back my phone in the bag. Hey, I'm here. We have been communicating on WhatsApp, he said. I told him he was perhaps lost. I couldn't believe what my eyes had just seen. I tried relating the pics he sent to the physical him, of which they were not even close. He insisted. I am the one, can we go? I asked who he was and why he was sending fake pics. His answer was he did all that for privacy, you know the turbulent storm taking over in the country. He added. I told him I wasn't going anywhere with a stranger and he should leave instantly. We were besides the road. I told him I was going back home, and then he requested to escort me which I denied. I didn't have a dime in my pockets because I had trusted him to give me transport. I was between the devil and the deep blue sea. I was in awe, the only thing I had was my credit card which I moved with in case anything happened, which clearly did. Most bank agents had closed up. I tried asking around and I withdrew some money. What perplexed me was dressing for the nines, putting on my cardigan because it was cold, with my cologne which made my parents say a lot of words, just to go and see Mr. Impersonator. I had prepared myself very well for the act as if I was going to see Christ, yet he was the devil's incarnate. By coincidence, another guy the first had also been chatting with called, he wanted to see me. I told him I was far and didn't have money on me. He told me to get a boda and he'll pay, which he did. Guess what? I thought I would have sex with him at the expense of Mr. Impersonator, but we didn't have sex because we didn't have protection, it was a bad experience. He gave me transport and I went back home late in the night. When I was leaving home, my parents were wondering and asked me where I was going with the extra smartness. I told them I was going to my friend's birthday, only to see me coming back earlier than planned, deceived them that the party was boring and that's why I left. I was shocked to find this guy's text in the morning, asking me whether I reached safely, like the audacity. I don't block people, I just delete their contacts and any conversation I had with them and move on, which I did to this impersonator too. Moral of the story. Always be happy with who you are. Appreciate yourself. Never trust anyone. You can lie someone but you can't lie them forever.